desperate war for survival has broken out between the Adeptus Mechanicus and a rogue house of Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights on this Forge world have seemingly gone insane and are rampaging across the planet, destroying all on their path. Belisarius Call is here to execute these knights and has brought with him a powerful ally. This is Warhammer 40k brought to you in an action-packed 40 minutes. This is 2000 points of Adeptus Mechanicus versus Imperial Knights. This is gonna be a barn burner, nay, a world burner! But this might be a re -rack. That's That would be the whole game. Bridger from Tabletop Titans is in studio for this game, and he wanted to play Big Stompy Robots. Hey, I'm Bridger from Tabletop Titans. I'm here to play some Imperial Knights and crush the ad mech. Playing against TAC today? Not really sure what to expect. Bringing some ad mech and, um, and a knight? What? What? I thought I was the knight player. Adeptus Mechanicus are considered to be in a tough spot power-wise in the current edition of the game, but they might be able to do something very well. Kill vehicles, and knights are vehicles. Popular opinion is the ad mech are in a bit of a rough spot, but nothing's impossible, and this list is particularly tuned to kill knights. Leading his forces is Belisarius Call. He's got a Tech Priest Mana Plus attached to the Catafor Destroyers to give them lethal hits in shooting. A Tech Priest Dominus is attached to the Catafor Breachers to give them sustained hits with an enhancement as well as a Field no pain. Skitari Vanguard are TAC's only battle line unit. Two Onager Doom Crawlers rocking neutron lasers and the possible linchpin of the list, believe it or not, a squad of three Sidonian Dragoons. So this is a bit of an experiment. Typically, we don't like to pair hard counters to each other, but in this case, we just really wanted to see if there's one thing that Admech could do, is it to kill knights. Painted up yesterday, just for today's battle, is the potential star of the show, the Sarastus Knight Lancer. We just painted this yesterday, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out. With a flat eight damage on that lance, I'm hoping to stab some knights. We've seen Tack Rockless just like this in the past, but this time, they may have bet their match. Bridger's running the Imperial Knights, commissioned painted for us by Art W Studios. All right, the list I'm running today is, of course, led by a Knight Castellan with Mysterious Garden. It's gonna teleport in, it's gonna be awesome. And I have two Paladins, one with the Banner of Macarius Triumphant and one with Mythic Hero. Followed behind them, I have a Helverin and two Warglaives. It's a nice, tidy, neat list of six models, and I'm so excited to be playing it today. Today's game is Vital Ground. Two victory points for holding your home objective and five victory points for each objective in No Man's Land. There's also six points if they hold their opponent's objective. This mission also removes the center objective, forcing players to move around the board for their points. Mission special rule is Vox Static, so the command reroll is going to cost two command points, and on a roll of a four up, the players will gain a command points for holding their home objective. Both players are playing tactical secondaries today. It wouldn't be a battle of YouTube channels without something on the line. We typically like to have little studio wagers when we play these games. So if I win, you guys have to keep Adrian for a while. Host him. Play yeah. nice, be nice Yeah, put him up, be nice, feed him, water him, put him down to bed at night. I'll return the favor, so if I win, you guys have to take Nick for a little bit. If I win, I get a bit of peace and quiet. If you win, I get a bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> Did we get Adrian or Nick's consent for this? I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. This episode is brought to you by Moonbreaker, a digital tabletop miniature strategy game developed by Unknown Worlds. Ben, at the studio, played it all weekend and has this to say. A digital tabletop game that plays like a tabletop game? I'm in! I get to play an engaging turn-based strategy game without being overwhelmed and having to set up everything. And I get to paint the models too, in game! Look, it's Maximus! I painted him myself. It was very fun. I did the classic paint method for most of it, gave pieces a good base coat, then added a wash to darken the corners of the model, and then gave the raised edges a dry brush. Sprinkle in some details here and there and BAM! Then I took advantage of Maximus's ability to move after doing damage and now I'm having a different kind of fun. Did you know that when you're painting, you can listen to a bunch of audiobooks that are in-universe written by Brandon Sanderson? Yes, that Brandon Sanderson. I even pulled out my Wacom tablet to paint Stitchy McPatchy. He's a healer unit that makes sure I'm able to keep my crew alive. Sorry, orc friends. I'll get back to painting you later. 
Not now! Moonbreaker has a new update coming out soon. It has a ton of new stuff to paint and play. There's a bunch of new Yi Aweti units, ranked mode, and a new map that I'm really stoked to try out. Moonbreaker's also having a Steam free weekend from August 17th to the 23rd, and will be discounted until August 30th. The latest update, Rising the Ranks, also has visual enhancements that improve gameplay. Unknown Worlds believes in engaging the community, and if you leave feedback, it could shape the game's future. Give it a try by following the link in the description. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go back to painting in Moonbreaker. Sad work noises. Now, back to the action. My Castellan is gonna be in Deep Strike because he's a mysterious hero. I actually like Bridger putting the Castellan in reserve. Tack could potentially pick it up if he focused it down, so with towering and not being able to hide, I think that's not a bad choice. No one sees him coming? Like, no one's like, what's that noise? I, just, don't worry about it. I think he teleports into a shadow and then he walks out of the shadow. Oh, a shadow, okay. It's like, you know, a really big shadow that he was standing in. Tack has no reserves because he needs every gun he has in his arsenal to get through those high toughness wounds and he can at least hide most of his army. For my first drop, I'm gonna put my Paladin with the Macarius Banner which lets me hold objectives after I leave on my home objective. Search and destroy deployment, which means we could see some fights early if they do deploy very aggressively here. The Serastus Knight going right on the line. He's hopeful he can break the newly painted model curse and get that Knight Lancer right in the action early. That new Knight Lancer is pretty spooky. Kills one of my big knights guaranteed on the charge. That's, that's pretty wild. I'm gonna put out a Warglaive in the hopes of maybe staving off the invasion the impending invasion of your Lancer. The Dragoons, in the hopes that I can make a big advance, as well as a charge. Oh. For one command point, I'm able to do both. I need some buffer space. I can't, I can't just let your Lancer have everything. So I'm gonna drop down a second roadblock. A second Warglaive. Bridger has chosen to screen his big knights with his little knights, and Tack is deploying the rest of his forces far back with some cover. We're all deployed. Do you feel like you're on the back foot here, or are you feeling pretty good? I'm just curious to see what happens. It's, knights are a famously, they're kind of a stat check army. I have a bunch of stats, mm -hmm. and you have to punch through them, but you definitely have the tools to do it. And I think it's gonna come down to some really wild dice in terms of how many battle cannon shots do I have? How many uh, anti four ups do you get? I think it's gonna be a cool first couple of turns and we're gonna see what happens from there. I need to go first in order to mitigate some of those threats before your big bad boy comes in. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. I'm going first. Looks like the ad mech are going first. I go first. This is a dream come true. This is gonna be an interesting turn. Before the battle round begins, the army roll. We've seen this before. Rad bombardment happens and Bridger has some choices to make. This Hellburn in the back. I think it's fine if he battle shocks. D3 on all these. All of them, we're not going to ground. We're gonna take your rad bombardment standing, head held high. Purple Paladin will take mortal wounds and takes full three. I uh, get my six up, fill my pains, we'll take all three. Then we go into the Warglaive, right in front of purple. Uh, nope, then Warglaive two. Takes how many? Takes a full three again. Yeah. Big three, six ups. Takes all three. Down, down to nine. nine. Orange. Orange is gonna take mortal wounds. And it's gonna take uh, oh, three, three again. again. It's sixes, takes all three. Nothing much from the Imperial Knights, six up field no pain, and we have some good damage early already. I just hit a total of how many wounds? Three, six, nine, straight through. Both players tick up to a command point, and Tack gains one more for the mission rule. Just hits it. <laughs> extra command point. I got an extra command point. Extend battle lines and attempting target. Bridger chooses the furthest no man's land objective from Tack, as he should. You are so, compelled to go this way now. Is my Lancer compelled to do anything but stab a knight? What's he gonna do? Go for objectives or go aggressive like he said he would? Let's watch and find out. I'm gonna choose Conquerors. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give all of my guns assault and it gets me extra AP for any unit that's still in your deployment zone. Conquerors imperatives a go, tax going aggressive and call turns on the reroll one aura. Someone woke up this morning and chose violence. Advancing the plasma destroyers. Let's see how far they go. 
six. <laughs> the Doom Crawlers aren't going to move, so their heavy weapons will be able to shoot straighter. Tack is known for being much more strategic and cagey, so I'm not sure who this guy is. Is this is this his villain arc? Normally, I'm not a proponent of split firing super early on, but I'm going to declare split fire here. Wait a minute, splitting fire? Who is this guy? The other three are going to go into the second world wave. The only reason I'm doing this is to see if I can bait out. Rotate ion shields. I need to conserve my command points. I think this Lancer is probably going to take out one of my Questorus class knights. And I want to spend my one command point for a Valiant Last Stand and fight on death. So I, I got to be diligent. No overwatch. We're not rotating ion shields. We're going to hold on to it. Weather the storm. Plasma destroyers going to Warglaive number one. Hitting on fours do have lethal. I'm winning on fives, even with plasma. Nada. Nada. So the one lethal hit uh, will take me to my five up involved, which I'll fail. Pair of six up, kill my pains. Well, you're telling me I did a whole lot of nothing. This is what matters though. This is going into the hurt one. I need fives. Five up involved. I'll make one of those. Six up, kill my pains. Make none of those. So that, that war glaive. Down to one. Down to one. Here's the fun part. <laughs> now tax has got to take some hazardous checks. Oh, wow. Three dead destroyers. Tack managed eight wounds, but lost nine there. That's not a good trade. I think the Sarasis is little lightning off of his lance. It's perfect for trying to take one wound off. He's got six shots. These are sustained two. Hitting on threes. I'm hitting more than a shot. Three up saves. Ooh, I'll fail one. First kill for the Lancer. No newly painted model curse here. There we go. One night down. Five more to go. <laughs> All of my breachers here are going to try to take out the war blade. Ooh, I might be regretting this not rotating thing, but weather the storm, okay? We're just going to weather the storm. Never rotate. Dominus has the Master Annihilator Enhancement, and so we got sustained hits on this unit. Two sustains. I'm going to reroll all these because they are close to a battle line unit. Anti vehicle four up is going to be big in this game. Ion shields. Another armor goes down, and now the lanes are clear for some big time charges. Then we're going into the two neutron lasers. Honor guard number one is going to fire into your purple paladin. No joy from the first dune crawler. What can the second one do? <laughs> Same thing. See that again. I'm rerolling ones because of call. So I have my dice gone cold. Oh, they might have. Is that, is that what's happening? I'm uh, winning on three? Three, okay. Okay. Clearly. And paladins do get to reroll one hit, wound, or save every phase. So I get a free reroll here, which I will need. But this time, I'll make it. Watch. Oh, this is a D6 plus one damage, of which I got six damage. Oh, five damage. This is impressive. We might be heading to game reset here if things continue like this. No, it's the charge phase. At the beginning of the charge phase, I'm going to spend a command point. Tack choosing to use the stratagem Aggressor Imperative, and now those Dragoons can charge even though they advanced. Lancer is going to go into orange. <laughs> and then I'm going to try my chicken walkers to take out purple. But this might be a re -racket. If you make the Lancer charge, that's that would be the whole game. Yeah. They're going into the purple paladin. I need, but I probably get it on an eight. I think so. Let's see if the Lancer makes it to the Orange Paladin. If it does, this may be lights out Imperial Knights. Oh, fail charge. Seven. Oh, oh, okay. This is what I needed this turn. It's just like weather the storm, you know? So this is eight attacks, hitting on fours. However, I've sustained two. So give me a lot of sixes. Yep. Really, really bad roll. Oh, interesting enough. They have anti-walker two. I'm wounding that knight on twos. You are not going to be proccing fight on death because <laughs> you're not dying. On my big knight, I will fail all three. Six up, feel my pains. I'll fail everyone. Down to eight. Four big chain sword swings. You annoyingly do have one extra wound. You have seven wounds for my six damage chain sword. It was almost a match made in heaven. I don't know if I can survive with one. Oh, I think. You'll probably only lose one. So big swings from the paladin and bingo, bango, bongo, two dragoons are destroyed. Tack keeps one Dragoon in engagement to force it to be unoptimal for next turn. What an opening volley from the Adeptus Mechanicus. The Imperial Knights are really hurting here already. Could we see the first ever re-rack in a 40k in 40 minutes? And then on a 4-up, I get an extra command point because I do hold my home objective. No. First secondary, I have area denial. That's a tough one. 
Uh, you just have to remove a Lancer. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Just just kill a Lancer. Just kill a Lancer. No problem. Not a great pull for a Bridger on the tactical cards. So that means he's going to be able to focus on extracting some revenge first and then points later. So I have an option to fall back with my, my knight that's stuck in combat with the chickens. I don't think I can afford at this point to, to lose any of my combat abilities. So I have to stay in and I have to take a risky split fire, but I think it's going to work out. I'm actually going to start shooting with this Helverin. Helverin starts its shooting phase going into the destroyers. Only one destroyer left. Purple Paladin. So we'll do trophy claim. This is one command point. My knight gets plus one to wound you. If I kill you, I get the command point back. Sure. If I don't kill you, I'm not allowed to trophy claim until I become honored. Putting my rocket pod and my heavy stubber into your seven wound chicken walker. The battle cannon is blast, can't go there. Uh, it's gonna go into these breachers. Be careful, I have vengeful fallout. Mm -hmm. If they survive, I can fire back at the night. Not afraid. You're not afraid? I have no fear. Okay, seven plus 2d6 shots. And I have a reroll, but I'm saving it. The wound. The Dominus is giving the Breachers a 5-up feel no pain, and tack rolls really well. And I definitely feel eventual fallout coming. Six shots from my stubber. Hit on fours. Four ups. Two damage for my troubles. With this Storm Spear Rocket Pod. Uh, five up. And if I make it, your hopes are dashed. <laughs> I make it. Oh. I'm so sorry. The Dragoon survives the rockets from the Paladin, and this is trouble. They're, they're angry at you. Okay. So I'm going to use a command point on Vengeful Fallout. Vengeful Fallout for a command point, and the Breachers rip into the Purple Paladin. Five ups, 12 damage. I need a lot of sixes here. You do. A lot of sixes. Oh. The Paladin is down, and it could explode. That would be nice. Oh, explosion. You take him out? You did take him out! Nicely done! Mass destruction. There's nothing on that objective but a smoldering crater now. He's gonna shoot everything he's got at this Lancer. Lancer's down to 19 wounds. We're gonna see what happens here, all right? We're gonna... Ah. Charge face now, and Bridger is not backing down. Orange into orange, the fight we wanted to see. If you don't kill me, is it a re-rack? I think if you kill me in return, by the way, this is the best set of three. <laughs> There's a chance. I'll tank shock you. All the sixes. Two mortal wounds. Okay. Let's see if the chain sword is mightier than the lamp. Oh, all right. Straight, straight to fighting. That's stressful. <laughs> We're gonna hit you on threes. Mm -hmm. And I have one reroll to hit or wound. So this will be three to hit. Threes. Okay. So if I feel all these, he's dead. Yeah. <gasps> I oh. feel. Not a single one. Oh, Tack, do you have to roll that well? Hitting on twos, winning on threes. Yeah. All right, twos. Uh-huh. Oh, All three of these have to wound. Do you live because of me? Yeah. I made that one. 24 six ups. If you roll six sixes, he lives with one wound. The Lancer skewers the Paladin, and just like that, only two remain. I've never seen a knight shish kebab so cleanly. I wonder what the Helverin must be thinking, sitting there all by itself. Yep, looks like the players are talking it through, and it looks like we're gonna redo this. Ding, ding, round two. Here we go, folks. Adeptus Mechanicus versus Imperial Knights. Round two. Round two. This time, the Knights are in charge. Definitely deserve to go first, and we'll see what happens. We begin game two after deployment, and Bridger has decided to keep his Castellan in reserves again. Ruh row Shaggy. At the start of the battle round, oh, I'm getting bombarded. I'm gonna take the bombardment everywhere. Warglaive. Takes three. Fixes. Takes all three. Do Warglaive two. Takes them both. Orange Paladin. And he takes one. Rad Bombardment, not as effective this round. Uh, four up, I get a bonus command point. You do? Oh, I do, of course. Let's see what I get this time. Assassination, kill a character. Bridger has drawn assassination and no prisoners. Looks like revenge with unbridled aggression is on the menu. Now I get all of my Bondsman abilities. I have two Paladins. This guy is a mythic hero, the Orange Paladin, which means he chooses two Armagers to get Bondsman abilities. So he's gonna give Lethal Hits and Lance to the Warglaives, and then the Purple Paladin is gonna give Lethal Hits and Lance to the Helverin in the back. Everybody's got it, all five knights. I'm gonna get moving. Everything moves up. 
attack is hemmed in his zone, and all the threats can bring their weapons to bear. We're not in the business of uh, anything other than war. Well, let's let's get some shooting done. Okay. Right in front, we have a warglaive who's mean mugging your your creamsicle. Not the creamsicle. Give you the thermal spear and our head melter. Hitting on threes. Sixes are lethal. So that's a lethal. Four to wound. Nope. The mighty four up. That's a uh, D6 plus four damage. Nine, nine damage. <laughs> Big damage from Melta. We're off to a hot start on that Lancer. Oh man, this is what you dream of with thermal lances. I deserve this, I deserve this. Okay. And now he's using his head. Pew, 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 pew. It's on a three, that'll miss. Rinse and repeat? Uh, yeah, let's just do the same thing again with the other Orglaive. Uh, sixes are lethal, hitting on threes. Four to wound, 12 on your 12. Oh, nothing from him, but the head melta. That's the one that'll get you. Five to wound you. Oh, that second warglaive whiffs. That's the warglaives I remember. Sometimes they're great, and sometimes they just don't do the business. The orange paladin is offended by your, your brilliant orange paint scheme. He says, orange is my color, okay? There's not enough room on this battlefield for two orange knights. And he's just gonna put everything in the way. Battle cannon, uh, 2d6 plus six shots. The orange paladin is going all in on that lancer. Shields for days. I take uh, one, so that's three, down to 13. Dubber, do you think the stubber will do anything? Nope. Nope. Three rocket pod shots. Okay. Uh, no one, so just the lethal. I'm I mean, everything's gonna just be on a shield. Well, we continue the onslaught. We have a purple paladin. Uh, gonna do the same thing. What did he do to you? He was a knight. I'm the knight player attack. So we'll start with the battle cannon. 2d6 plus six shots. We'll be hitting on threes. All those sixes are lethal. We'll use our ones per phase reroll. Okay. So five lethals. <laughs> That's convenient. Uh, You're making the most of uh, most of it. Wow. That's seven battle kills. Jeez! You laughed at my eight shots. You didn't laugh at my seven wounds. Does purple kill him? Maybe. I'm down to 10 wounds remaining. Purple's on fire. You killed him in a past life. Did. So two wounds there, AP one. Uh, oh. Yeah, you take one stubber damage. Rockets. Ooh, that Lancer's taking a beating, but it still stands with nine wounds. Can the Helverin take it down? We hitting on threes. I'm okay. It's charge o'clock. This front warglaive is gonna charge the Creamsicle Lancer. I need a big charge to make space for my paladins to fit in this combat. Charges now, and Bridger needs a big number for the first warglaive so it can get around the Lancer and the second one can come in. That is a no! So you're not getting the second one in. Warglaive into the two dragoons. Brave little warglaive. He's gonna do a strike. I would wanna see. Not that. Six wounds remaining. And then we'll go over to the next Warglaive. Threes, sixes are sustained. I'll be winning you on twos with Lance. Okay. Dragoons survive the Warglaive and the Knights might actually be in trouble even though they went first. Should we do the big guy first or we should do the, the little chickens? That's your call. Get it? That's your, that's that's your call. call. Yeah, that's your call. Go with the Knight Lancer. Oh, we've seen this before. The Lancer skewers that Warglaive into nothingness. This is the boom die. Boom. boom. Oh, so close. How angry are my chicken walkers? So the two sixes equal another four. And then on twos. Fine. You're not gonna be fine. We're gonna be, oh, 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 oh. we're gonna be fine. We'll see how my six up film pains are. Uh, nope, none of those. <laughs> so he's down to one. The Dragoons oh. take the Warglaive to one wound remaining. One means I'm roadblocked. And this is big trouble for the admin. I've got a lot of guns to bear. However, if I can't start moving up, I'm losing this game on objective. No score from Bridger, but with that one Warglaive surviving on one wound, he could be denying Tack the ability to score as well. Will the Adeptus Mechanicus turn be as devastating as in the first game? Let's find out. Does my card deck also want me to choose violence? Cleanse. Tack pulls Cleanse and Storm Hostile Objective. That's not gonna happen. You're a bit traffic jammed here. Yep. This thing that has a whopping 14 inch move, mm -hmm is gonna go cleanse an object. Oh, he's cleansing. Looks like he's thinking about cleansing with the Serastus, but just can't bring himself to do it. I, I kind of agree. Violence, violence, violence. The Dragoons fall back and there's very little shuffling to get some shooting lanes. 
I'm having to move backwards with a lot of my forces, and that's not good. The Lancer wants to kill something before it goes down. <laughs> the Lancer cannot zap the last wound off the Warglaive. Call? Call. I mean, they tell tales of this sun pistol, huh? Solar Atomizer. Melt to D3, not a melt to range. D3 attacks, hitting on twos, strength 14, AP4, flat three damage. How many shots do I get with Mighty Call? One. Call now with his ridiculous gun reduces the Warglaive to dust. That thing is nuts. Does he explode? No. Uh, all of my plasma into that knight. I'll rotate, okay. I'll right. take, I'll bite this time. We're gonna try it again. Overcharging, and we're gonna one more again. time. One more time. Fives. Four up rotates. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Pass one, so it'll take seven down to 14. Seven damage to the Paladin. Here comes the hazardous roll. One destroyer down. I like how you came into my rapid fire range. What can I say? We were eager. You were very eager. So I've got three in rapid fire range. Creatures are gonna fire into orange. Quite a few sustained in there. We're rolling the farm. Still ended up hitting more than you shot? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fours, because you are a vehicle. They are angry at you. You got this. Uh, no. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Eight sixes. No problem. Yeah. Uh, no. No, no, no. I mean, no. it was valiant, but no. So I want to see an explosion here. No. That's one dead paladin. Oh man, I uh, was really expecting to lose that paladin in combat and then get to fight on death or something, but I guess on the bright side, he doesn't get to charge and it's like a little bit less efficiency for the Admech. Onslaught continues with the Onager Doomcrawler into the remaining paladin. Five up. I'll use his once per phase reroll. Got it. He'll still fail it. D6 plus one. Big seven damage. Uh, sixes. None of those. That's some big damage there. Second Onager does two damage, and the Knights don't seem to have an answer for this gross ad mech gun line. The engineers of the 41st millennium seem to know how to take apart the machines they maintain. Go figure. It's like fighting an army of mechanics. There's more Knights after turn one than before, and more importantly, amazing board control. We have the mysterious Castellan to show up now, so folks, we got us a game. On to turn two. I'm glad we got to turn two on this round. <laughs> Rad Bombardment goes off. And does nothing. We left. Yeah, you left. Kept assassination, and then we'll draw one card, overwhelming force, kill units on objectives. Most of your army over there. With that Castellan coming in, these should be no problem to score. Well, the game has chosen violence once again. His purple paladin has sticking his home objective, and with the Helver on the corner objective, Virtue scores seven primary points. Just shuffle up. Mm-hmm. Just a bit of movement, and here comes the Castellan. Yeah, of course. Right there. The mysterious Castellan. I outnumber you model-wise a gazillion to one, and you have all of the table. That first turn charge was so good. All right, we have a ton of split firing to do with the Castellan. We're going to do everything. I'm so excited. I just want to shoot. I just want to shoot a Castellan. I think it's time to trophy claim. Bridger goes for Trophy Hunter on the Lancer, plus one a wound, that's a good call. Our Shield Breaker Missiles, our Siege Breaker Cannon, and a pair of Twin Meltas into the Lancer. Kano Cannon. No. <laughs> into the Chickens. No. And we're gonna put the Giant Plasma into the Breachers. Where do you wanna start? I'll start with the two Shield Breaker Missiles. Anti-Titanic 4-Up with Devastating Wounds. With Devastating Wounds. Castellan is going to split fire, and with that many guns, that's eh, okay. Strength 12, plus one to wound. That doesn't do it. He survives. Pair of twin melted guns. Sure. They hit on threes. That is a pair of twos. You know what? He's upset with you for leaving him out of the action until turn two. He was being mysterious. It was really cool. He was like working in the shadows and the wow. We get D6 Siege Breaker cannon shots. Oh, there you go. Big six. Yep. These also hit on threes. Mm -hmm. Those are literally all threes, so <laughs> that's cool. Fives because I'm claiming a trophy. Yeah. None of those. Okay, well, that is a stratagem that you are no longer able to use unless you get over here. Looks like it all the way over there, huh? Did it just survive the Castellan? Did that just happen? 
I set everything up and I couldn't claim the trophy. So D3 shots into the chickens. A pair of hits. That'll do it. Is fried chicken on the menu? You got one? The dragoon survived two? And I only killed one chicken? And then finally we have the plasma decimator. D6 plus three blast. So it'll be D6 plus four shots into your breachers. Okay. So Are you supercharging? Yeah, I'm supercharging. Uh, Did you only get two? Yeah, two hits. One wound. AP3 becomes AP2. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have a five up. I don't make it. Flat three damage. Flat three damage. Feel no pains because of the Dominus. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Uh, alive with one. That is too many breaches still alive. And here comes the Admech Special Vengeful Fallout. But these are rerolls because I'm still beside the battle line unit. Fours. Oh, that's not too bad for the Castellan. It only took six damage. Take six. We're going to activate the Purple Paladin. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the rockets and the battle cannon into your your creamsicle knight. And then we'll put the stubber. You have a one wound breacher, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Let's start with the battle cannon. 2d6 plus six shots into the lancer. Ooh! 17 shots. No! I'll use my once per phase reroll on a hit here. You got it. Good. I see enough. That's a good number. Yeah. Two of these through. He's dead. Well, that. I let exactly two through. Oh, I'm going down to one command point remaining. There she goes. The Lancer finally drops. I have lost my ice cream. Stubber into your breachers. Hitting on threes. Nothing. Helverin in the back. Going downtown. Eight shots with the auto cannons. Threes. Four wounds. But you do have your feeling pains. On the first guy, let's see if he dies because I can roll. Yep. Second guy, uh, he lives completely, right? He's got two wounds remaining. So moving on to my charge, uh, I have an angry paladin who's ready to cook up some chicken. I have a plus one to charge and I'm about an inch and a half away from you. Paladin charges now, attacks firing overwatch with the destroyers. These are five up in wounds. They are. Four damage, and with the hazardous test, Tack loses another destroyer. Now that I've completed my charge, I'll tank shock. Don't worry, caps at six mortal wounds. Yeah, but that is almost the base. Four mortal wounds. Okay, so one is down to two. Twelve sweeps. And wound on threes. The Paladin does short work in the Dragoons, but nowhere to consolidate, and is going to have to stand up to the full might of the Admet gunline. However, within and his way, Tack is again hemmed into his own zone. Bridger scores five for assassination and keeps overwhelming force. I'm surprised that he didn't score it this turn, but he should definitely be able to do it on the next. Well, here's the thing. I can't move, Bridger. You're stuck. I am you are. so stuck. I'm definitely running out of steam here, but I'm keeping him contained, keeping him in his deployment zone, and he, he doesn't have anything fast left. He's just got these Little rolly guys, I don't even have legs. So, feeling pretty good. Just gotta keep them contained. I just cannot get up the board. I'm gonna pull things that need me to get objectives. That's what's gonna happen. Very likely, yeah. Tax tactical objective pulls are overwhelming force and extend battle lines. He's basically gotta kill that Castellan. You can kill my lovely Castellan. I can, I can try to kill the lovely Castellan. <laughs> Two whole <laughs> points. Two primary. It feels like I'm winning on the kill game, but I'm definitely losing on the objective game. Let's see if I get an extra command point for my troubles. Ooh. I do. So this is going to be the most amazing movement phase ever. Oh, nothing's moving. Oh, nothing's moving. Okay. They all want to proc heavy. On to the shooting phase. Onager into the Paladin. Wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Neutron laser, nothing. Stubbers? Mm -hmm. Cognis heavy stubber. Let's see if uh, I can stub your toes. I need sixes. Threes. I'll take them both. Okay. Sixes. Take them, take them both. both. Okay. Well, that makes up for the neutral laser that didn't do squat. Oh, stubbers do two wounds. Why is it always the stubbers? I will go in with call. 
Call again with his ridiculous strength 14, AP ridiculous, damage 3, solar atomizer, gun of the heart of the stars, ion shenanigan, blow you into next week and turn you into dust, and then use that dust to anoint my machine spirit and mix it with oil and spread it on my face and then do a weird play about the joys of killing stars. Or just, you know, calls gun. Do you explode? This is a big. Oh, hoo -hoo. that <laughs> that is nice. Oh, we have an explosion. Cue Nick. It's mortals on the breachers. Four. Big four. Let's see if you kill him. Got one left. Actually, they're mortals. I can just roll yeah, them, them all together. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. It shrugs three of them. What the jeebus, Tack? So somehow. Bridger, I still have five uh, Breachers left. Yeah? And guess where they're going? To rotate town. Breachers now target the Castellan, and Bridger spends a command point on rotate ion shields. Six, four up in ones. Yep. Let's see how you do. Uh, Ooh, ooh, pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Here's my six up in the pains. Down to ten. That could have been worse. Johnny Newton. That Castellan. Hitting on threes. We've got call. Strength blocks. I get both, barely. Oh, Makes them both. It. Here comes the overcharged plasma from the destroyers. Oh, I've only got four left. Always be overcharged. Oh, that'll, that'll be six damage, three go through. Five damage dealt, but the Castellan still stands. What a bloody game. No charges and no fights. Tack can't score. And the Knights hold the lead in points and are about to score big time next turn. To be frank, I don't know how I'm going to score my primaries and secondaries. I'm going to really need to start moving out of my zone next turn. So I'm going to go into Conquer. Because if I'm not moving, I'm losing. So my entire army has assault weapons now. Adding to his overwhelming force secondary, Bridger also pulls extend battle lines. Do you have a battle shock? on the Castellan. I would really like to pass this. You really need to pass it. We're good with an okay. eight. Battleshock is passed, and this is big points for Bridger. He's got his home objective, two in no man's land. That is 12 primary. If Tack can't move, he can't score, and that lead is becoming near impossible to catch. Way up on the scoreboard here, but kind of running out of models. It's not like we're just not playing the weirdest game of 40K. <laughs> Castellan will... No, we're gonna start with the, the Helbrin, who's gonna shoot everything at Breachers. I, I yep. do have Vengeful Fallout. I'm not, I'm, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Okay, all right. You gotta be able to take one wound off of this one guy. Hey, Stubber, let's see if the Stubber can do it. Every time, easy, five. All is Ooh. the win. Uh, I'm okay. Eight auto cannon shots. Here we go. He's doing his best. He's trying, doing everything he can. I, ooh, I feel one. So I just need to make three five ups. Nope. Vengeful Fallout. This is on the Breachers into your Helvern. Tack decides Vengeful Fallout here to try and knock Bridger off an objective. It doesn't feel confident about the shots from the Castella not wiping him out. One. Takes five, he's down to seven. Volcano Cannon. Crawler, and everything else. Big Volcano Lance shoots into the Onager Doom Crawler that it can see. That is a wound. It goes through by one. Ooh, a failed save. Tack could lose the dude crawler in a single shot. So I'm going to zero command points. Expand. Remember, folks, two command points for command reroll. Oh, it's a three again? <sighs> All right. Six. 14 damage. The dude crawler is one shotted. Does it go boom? That's a four. Everything else into the breachers. Decimator yeah. supercharged with blast. We still have five models counting the character. So we're good there. D6 plus three plus one, so four plus four is eight. Bridger now pouring everything else into those breachers. Oh yeah. I don't make a single one. This is why I did Vengeful Fallout there. They weren't surviving another round. So I've got five of these. Thanks two. So one damage. One damage, so that goes away. Do this again. Takes so one another damage. one damage, down to one. This gets them. <laughs> yep, so he's dead. One dead. And there's two left. Two left. Jeez, what's up with these feel no pains? And then the last one, dead. Oh, After all no, that. That no, feel no pain is so good. It's, that was really good. Whole bunch of other stuff. Whole bunch of shooting. Here's two twin Meltas. And then looking for a three with a reroll because it's twin linked. I've got a six up in vault. Good. <laughs> Chillbreaker missiles. And then 
AP, why is this in the game? Nope. How much damage? D6 plus one. It's a laser cannon, four damage. Fiona Payne's coming clutch. Cool. He's got one wound remaining. Continue to survive. Twin Siege Breaker Cannon, number of shots. Four on a five. <sighs> so three up. Oh no! On a five up. No, you kill. Woo. So, I don't know how this is possible, but the Breachers still stand. Breachers are alive with one. Almost an entire castle not be able to kill that unit. Yeah, those field pains were on fire. That was wild. And that's that's it for me. I think Bridger forgot to do something here. Hey, future Bridger, you're supposed to take a hazardous now, so like, just whenever you get the chance. Tack continues to deny Bridger overwhelming force, but he scores extend battle lines. The Knights are running away with a score. The Knights are scoring points for existing. I've still got overwhelming force and extend battle lines, so I better start motoring. Admic can finally move out of the zone, but it might be a too little too late. Very strange game. <laughs> I think I overwatch you this turn. I'm gonna just try to whittle you down, hope you live, and charge onto that objective. Oh. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Advancing the Honor Gardoon Crawler. Yeah, I'm gonna overwatch. Nudging the Honor Gardoon Crawler to get some shots, and Bridger's gonna go for overwatch. Kill breaker missiles. Nope. Number of volcano shots. One. But it's a six. No. Overcharge plasma, number of shots. Oh, when you overcharged last time, did you take any hazardous? Oh, I didn't. We'll have to take that. And we'll take it here as well. So there's one hit. Yep. Okay, I've got a four pin wall. I do not make it. Three damage. What about that hazardous test that we forgot? Take the hazardous. Bridger remembers that he's got to take hazardous from the previous turn. Three mortal wounds, down to two. And then the hazardous for now. Oh no! <laughs> he kills himself. What in the... Space Marine Steve level of rolling ones just happened. You can't have this objective. I'm going to die. I don't, <laughs> I also deny you this objective. You can't get over here. It's, do I explode? No. Bridger destroys his own knight with hazardous and takes away tax charge target. Spitefully deny me, deny me winning this game. <laughs> Tack cannot gain the extra movement to get on that objective this turn to score next turn. This actually might have won Bridger the game. Tack advances, hurried up with everything else. He takes out the Halverin and now Bridger's tabled, but Tack cannot and may not be able to score enough points. Tack immediately goes to his next turn to see how much movement he can muster. His two secondary pulls. Bring it down. He can't score. Uh, that'll do it, yeah. So 12 on my first advance. And then it comes down to what this is. Yep. The poor telephone homers. You get three in the middle. He scores some secondary points, but he can't catch. I lose <laughs> this game. After tabling me on turn three. Yeah, so good game. <laughs> Got to play two games for the price of one. The Admech won the first game. Second game when the Castellan came in and then proceeded to kill itself. So the winning blow here, the winning blow was dealt by you to yourself. He's mysterious. Nobody really understands how the Castellan works. One on like two hazardous rolls. That was a fun game. Yeah, it was fun. I had a great time. There it is, folks. This illustrates so well you cannot just kill your way to victory. You gotta go get your objectives and score your primaries. The game is about points, not about killing your opponent. And if you score, you win. That was some very weird Warhammer, but most importantly, both players seem to be having so much fun with factions that they both enjoy. So, my question though is what happens to the bet? What happens to our bet? Both or neither? I don't know. Thank you for watching this game with us. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to support our channel and check out amazing exclusive content, consider joining Patreon or YouTube membership. You get access to our swinging Discord as well. Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Moonbreaker. Moonbreaker's also having a Steam-free weekend from August 17th to the 23rd and will be discounted until August 30th. Give it a try by following the link in the description. That's it from us, folks. We managed to fit two games of 40K 
in 140K in 40 minutes. I'm not sure if we're ever going to be able to do that again. That's it for us here at the Play On Studios, folks. On behalf of all of us, this is your host, JT, saying, until we see you next time in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on. Orange dice are not cursed. Creamsicle night for the win.